Okay, so I've got a great story that I have to talk about. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is going to insist that she's not actually as crazy or unintelligent as we all think she is. The only reason why we think she's crazy is because the media has manipulated us. They've portrayed her in an unfair way, and because of that, we think that she's an unintelligent buffoon. But in actuality, that's not the case. She's going to claim this... Um, unironically and i just it, it's hard to not laugh at this but let's let's hear her out so as david edwards of raw story explains representative marjorie taylor green blamed the media this week because she said people believe that she is angry or crazy or unintelligent they create me as someone to not be liked green told conservative podcast host lisa booth they make me out as if i'm crazy or angry or basically just unintelligent which you know is completely unfair <laughs> But but they say, give me all the isms, you know, ists, like the racist, the, <laughs> the homophobic, um, you know, anti-Semitic. They put all those labels on me and none of them are true. That's pretty frustrating. So I think people get the wrong idea about me, she added. Oh my God. Well, I feel so bad because here I was thinking that this is a massive piece of shit. But unfortunately, this is only because of the media. Wow. Now, in this same interview, <laughs> where she says that it is really unfair that people claim she's unintelligent, she also said this, Our government, it's not the same government. It's a regime. They're communists. They're waging a war against America. Green opined. <laughs> Some things just... um leave me speechless and like my initial reaction is just wow yeah definitely the media's fault as to why you're viewed as unintelligent it's definitely not because you idiotically claimed that trump won the 2020 election and even wore trump won on a mask it's the media i mean did the media photoshop that mask is that real was this image of you and white nationalist Nick Fuentes photoshopped? Did the media make you go to this event? When you speculated on social media back in 2018, whether or not wildfires were caused by Jewish space lasers, did the media make you write that post on Facebook? I mean, it's almost like the reason why Americans think that you're an unintelligent crazy person is because you kind of do that yourself but i mean there's more remember how uh somebody in congress marie newman whose office was across from hers she put up a trans flag to show support for her trans daughter and then you decided to hang up a poster denying the existence of trans people just i guess as a fuck you to your colleague did the media make you do that marjorie did the media force you to berate cory bush forcing her to literally move her office to a different location did a tiny fairy from the media enter your brain and push levers in your head that made you say that mask mandates were comparable to the holocaust only to apologize but then say the same thing later after apologizing did the media force you to join QAnon and upload videos of yourself calling him a patriot did the media do cgi to create this video that you uploaded to your youtube channel where you followed around and harassed a survivor of a school shooting marjorie by the way that video is still up on her youtube channel till this day but maybe the media hacked her youtube channel and they uploaded that for her i mean look i'm not going to say that the media doesn't sometimes portray people unfairly or in a negative light on purpose i absolutely acknowledge that there's a whole playlist on this channel called media bias because corporate media has its fair share of biases but in the case of marjorie taylor green do we view you marjorie uh, gonna speak directly to her do we view you as unintelligent or angry or stupid because you've been unfairly portrayed that way no, not even close. The reason why, Marjorie, people think that you're in, uh, unintelligent and stupid is because you are. You're not just unintelligent, but you're an unhinged maniac who seems hell-bent on making the world a more unpleasant place to live in. And you claim that the media is trying to portray you as racist and homophobic. I mean... You're the one who's calling Muslim members of Congress part of the Jihad squad. You're the one who's claiming that LGBTQ plus teachers are groomers and pedophiles. You keep saying these things. You keep in incriminating yourself. 
and you have the audacity to cl complain about the media. I mean, there's way more we can talk about. This video could be 35 minutes and we still wouldn't cover all of the dumb things that Marjorie Taylor Greene has said. But still, she actually believes that the media is responsible for her reputation. Marjorie, the mere fact that you think the media is responsible for your reputation and not you kind of proves the point that you are indeed unintelligent. But I mean, if you don't want to be portrayed this way, don't blame the media. Do better and, I don't know, stop acting like a fucking petulant child every single day. Stop tweeting dumb conspiracy theories. Just try to behave like a functioning adult and perhaps people might respect you a little bit more. I don't know what to tell you. Do you enjoy watching independent news shows like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, and The Majority Report, but oftentimes YouTube doesn't deliver our videos to your subscription box? Well, I've got a solution for you. It's called the Opt Out app, available right now in the iOS App Store, coming soon to Android. Opt Out is an app made by and for progressives where they take all of the most popular independent news shows and they put them in one convenient location. You'll find all your favorites on there, like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, The Majority Report, and the app is updated multiple times per day, so your news feed is constantly up to date. If you enjoy watching independent media, this is the app to get. Download it today. Were you acting like a